Imperium didn't know. They're trolling. They've got to be trolling. There's no possible way. All right. Hey, listen. <laughs> we got something funny to talk about. Plerium, they're on some next level. You already know. All right. You know what? Let's just go. What up, team? It's Murderink here. And uh, think back. Think back to a time where raid was... I'm not gonna say really fun that that was a, that's a terrible okay terrible transition we're talking about anniversary events here okay if you've been playing for long enough you remember the last anniversary event we all got personalized videos and they were fantastic or so i thought i found out that there was no analytics indicating that players enjoyed seeing the amount of dungeons they farmed the amount of times they hit plat arena um the their most used champion and i'm thinking to myself are you kidding me that was one of the greatest things raid has done that should be in the game all the time i would love to know which is my most farmed dungeon i would love to know which is my most used champion whether it's in the last year in the last two years since i started the game of course it's going to be skewed if you're early game you use it one champion for a significant amount of time but they also showed overall statistics that were really interesting and the fact that i brought this up to them I don't know i want to say a week ago or maybe two weeks ago by the time you're seeing this video and they said oh we didn't know players enjoyed it are they crazy or am i crazy the only thing crazier than i can think about is the fact that listen 50 percent or more of you guys aren't currently subscribed to this channel stop what you're doing subscribe hit that notification bell and let's get straight back into the video so with that being said i need to know right now get into the comment section and tell me honest opinion did you enjoy that video were you intrigued by the analytics did you just not care do you not care if you farmed dragon three thousand times fire knight a hundred times in spider five thousand times does that do you not care about that do you not care what your most used champion is do you not care what was the other metric what your most used legendary epic and rare champion all things like that I think it's pretty cool. They also showed overall game statistics. What was the most farmed dungeon in Raid Shadow Legends? What's the most used champion in Raid Shadow Legends? So, I mean, of course, it's going to be like Kale, Shaman, one of those champions. But as time goes on, it's going to change. Retention's going to get better. How many times you killed the Demon Lord clan boss? How many heads of the Hydra have been decapitated? So there's so many cool analytics, in my personal opinion, that... I mean, players seemed to really like when they came out. They were all asking for, I don't know, weeks after it ended, how do I get my video? And of course, by then it was too late, but it just blows my mind that, I mean, maybe it doesn't blow my mind. Maybe their analytics were just not right for the amount of people downloading it, but it just seems so weird that they had no idea that players really enjoyed that part and that, I guess, moment for the anniversary event. Like, what else could they add? I would personally like to know how many shards I've pulled. I know they have that information. They use it for data analysis on the legendaries that are in the game. So that's how I know they have that. So I would want to know how many ancient shards I've pulled, how many void shards, and how many sacred shards I've pulled. And I'm sure you guys would too. Maybe the amount of gems that have been spent on an account. Money? No. No, no, no. That, that's personal. That's something that shouldn't be in a video for sure. And I would understand if they didn't add that, and nor should they in my opinion. But there are a lot of really cool things that I think should be in one of those reports. I think they should bring it back and they, they're considering doing it. So share this video around, give some feedback. I mean, share it around if you agree with this and you want to see it again. But like I said, they had no idea players enjoyed this. So give your honest feedback if you really want this to happen. Share this video around, get people involved. They're going to be watching this. They're going to be reading the comments if it's popular enough. According to them, they're going to do this again. Hopefully bigger and better than ever with some of the suggestions you guys have. If you think they should add certain things, cut out certain things you think they don't need. I mean, more is, of course, better. And no one really wants less analytics if they can just simply add it. If it's not too much work for them, I do get that. They don't make any money off of it. And it is a company after all. But players love it. So I was completely shocked. Maybe you guys aren't surprised by this. And maybe I'm completely misreading the entire community here. It's very possible. But if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm an analytics junkie. I, I love stuff like that. And I think that 
Those anniversary videos were some of the greatest things that Raid's ever given us as the player base. I mean, of course, the Christmas gifts and the daily free gifts that we do get, the appreciation packs, th those were great additions to the game. But as far as like something that's, uh, I guess, not a resource in this game, just something to show us the community, I think that would be great. I think people loved it. I saw it posted all over Reddit. It was the first time I was on Reddit, not just a troll for one. So, I mean, hey, Larium's uh, creating bonds that no one thought could exist here. So I would like to see that. And I'm pretty sure people enjoyed seeing their content creators, whoever their favorite content creators are, share their video on YouTube. I think it is interesting to see the person you're watching who's giving you guides, who's giving you advice in the game to see what they've put into the game, how many dungeons they've been farming, and how much they actually play the game outside of just shooting out all of these videos and so you can kind of get a gauge on where their knowledge is coming from if it's somebody else helping them if it's the content creator themselves i just think it's something cool to bring the whole community together as a whole and it did work at the time there were plenty of things going wrong in the game of rage shadow legends when those videos came out and it's like everything just magically disappeared or i don't know i want to say a week period it was peace in raid for a week and it was a glorious time so that's kind of the whole point of this video here and like i said please take the time write a comment give your personal opinion on the matter if you did like it if you didn't like it it's going to go pretty far as far as the decision goes to make this happen bring it back or never bring it back again so this was just a really quick video to talk about that because I thought it was cool. I thought it was something worth talking about and it is what it is. So if you enjoy this content, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you all in my next upload.